Webull just took their platform to the next level now by incorporating AI. Today, we're going to be sharing exactly how you can get access to this new feature and how you can take your investing to the next level. We're going to walk you through step by step and answer some of the most important questions when it comes to this new feature. Let's go. First things first, there will be a link in the description box of this video. If you do not already have a Webull account, that will link that link will set you up with a bunch of free stocks once you sign up and deposit into your account. They are always having new promotions, so follow along with the promotion that they are currently offering. Those are always changing on a month-to-month -month basis. Okay. So right now we are using an iPad. I wanted to do this because it's going to be a bit easier to show you how the screen and how everything works uh, on an iPad versus a phone, which would be a little bit smaller of a screen. So I have horizontally displayed my iPad. Now on the left-hand side, if you look over to the left, you'll have a chat box, a heart, a little circle with the Weeble logo, kind of like a planet. And then those like three squares, circles with a little red dot. We're gonna head to the bottom option, the squares, the circles, the red dot, click on that. That's going to take you to a page that looks like this. You'll have a bunch of messages, and on the left-hand side, you'll have shortcuts. On the left-hand side, you may, under the shortcut section, see a option for Smart Advisor. Now, in this case, they are using it as a promotion. So under the Promotion Center, I'm going to scroll across into where I see Smart Advisor Account Now Available. I'm going to click on that option. And now what I'm going to see is what we've got on the right-hand side of our screen. There's a couple of ways you can get to this. You can click on links if you may have gotten emails in the past from Webull, but you're looking for the Smart Advisor section. And of course, that could change. Last time I opened the app, they had it as an option under shortcuts. Now it's under promotions. And so that moves around and I don't want to just say, hey, it's only gonna be here because that could change as I just noticed myself just now. So underneath this, what they're going to do is they're going to give you $10 cash right now by funding an account with $100 or more under the Smart Advisor, I guess, account. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of walk you through step by step how to do this. And then I want to answer some questions. It's fairly straightforward. Like you can kind of just follow the steps. So if you want to skip to those questions, go ahead and do so after you sign up and open your account. So I'm going to go ahead and click on get started. Now, as I talk about this, what I do want to hit home on is that this allows you to take yourself out of managing a portfolio and you're going to let AI or you know, Weeble, their smart advisors or their auto investment strategies do that for you. Um, that's really what it is. And so they're going to build you a portfolio, give you allocations to different asset classes that meet different risk criteria that you will then you will select in setting this account up. Uh, and so you don't have to worry. And so why is it useful? It's for someone who is a passive investor, doesn't want to be active in their portfolios and wants to get involved in the market and wants their money to be managed and get access to ideally gains over the course of their investment time horizon, but has no clue or just doesn't want to take the time and energy to do this. Now, you could also test this out by just, you know, doing a trial run yourself and comparing what the smart advisor could do on a year-to-year -year basis versus what you could do on your own. And that would be a great, you know, idea with a large enough sample set, you know, of, of, of ideally months to years to be able to say, hey, I've proven that I can't beat the smart advisor. So I'm going to keep my money with a smart advisor and stop, you know, messing around on my own. Okay. That's kind of in a nutshell, the whole idea behind it. Um, now this is all going to be done inside the app. You don't have to worry. Like it, the, the cool thing about it is that it's all inside of the Webull app. So I'm going to dive down. You can scroll through this. They'll have different risk profiles. And they have like a couple of profiles that you can look at, and then you'll be able to come in there and track performance and look at charts and all that great stuff as time goes on inside of your portfolio. So it's super easy to look at, super easy to track and all that great stuff. I'm going to go over to where it says start investing. Okay, so here we go. Now, here is an example of an account, and it's going to show you kind of hypothetically speaking what would have occurred over the past like 10 years or so. That's what we're starting with $10,000 on the bottom left of that graph. And you'll see that if you went with a moderate growth portfolio, you would be now sitting at around 20, what is that? $20,811. If you went with a maximum growth portfolio, you'd be at 27,000. If you went with a conservative portfolio, you'll be at 14,000. 
The thing is, we did have a pullback. And so that pullback on the conservative portfolio took you from 16 down to about 14. On the ma the max growth took you from about 30,000 down to about 25 or 26,000. So we haven't had a sustained um, bear market that has you know gone on for years, years. Uh, so we can't really kind of look at this and say, you know, how bad would it have done, right? It's tough to have done bad since 2012. Let's be honest. It's tough to have done bad since 2012. So inside of this, it comes down to you specifying what you would like to do here in terms of your risk. Now, when you select moderate conservative, conservative or growth or whatever, you know, let's say I want to go with the growth, not max growth. I want to go to growth, right? Now, in this scenario, it's going to tell you where they're going to invest your money. In this case, 94% in equities, 2% fixed income, 2% commodities, and 2% cash. Max growth, you're going to be pretty much, I would imagine, like, yeah, 95.5% equity, uh, half percent fixed income, and 2% commodities, 2% cash. That seems pretty standard. If you go back to the, you know, to the conservative side, you'll see that the 2% commodities and 2% cash still remains except now you're mostly fixed income and only 25% in equities. Now, if I were to go into this and scroll down, there's some more, some more information. I can click on view progress. When I click on view progress, it's going to show me my current kind of steps in the process. So that's not something to worry about too, too much. So I'm going to go ahead click on growth. That's where I want to be. I don't want to go max or I'm going to go growth. Uh, and let's go from there. Add portfolio. Please complete a, a quick risk assessment to help better understand your risk tolerance. Great. Select your age group, select your investing experience, select your pre-tax household income. Then it asks, when will you need this money? If this is something that you're going to be start putting money in here and not worrying about for a while, you know, this could be a six plus year time horizon. Maybe it's, you know, one to five years, maybe it's 10 plus. It really depends. Uh, again, this depends on, you know, what you're looking at here. Next question. When you hear the term risk related to your finances, what is the first thought that comes to mind? Answer that. And a quick question. If your investments were down 20%, what would you do? Sell everything. I'm just kidding. I'm probably going to be buying more or doing nothing. That's personally what I would do if I had cash. Uh, how do you see yourself investing? I prefer stable growth over time. That's probably what I would look for. Okay, cool. Now it's analyzing they are now going to build me a custom personalized portfolio. So now what it ended up determining for me was moderate growth. It found that my risk level was moderate growth. Now you have the ability to change this. So for example, the bottom, it says, if you believe you're not in the correct portfolio to suit your risk tolerance, you may change it here. I'm going to leave it, but you could click on the change button to change your portfolio. Now here's where it's actually really cool. And here's where you can start to get a little creative if you do have a little more investing experience. So where it says equity, uh, 80%, there's a drop down arrow. It's going to show you the exact positions that it's going to put you in and the percentages that it's going to put you in, okay, when it comes to equities. So in this case, because I'm looking at moderate growth, you're probably going to see some small caps. And yeah, that's GWX um, is a small cap ETF. You'll see emerging markets, SPEM. Uh, you got a Europe portfolio, mid caps are in there as well. Um, the largest weighting in here is the S&P 500. So it's going to put you into SPY, which makes sense. Just put yourself into SPY. That's probably a good a, a strategy for most people anyway. Fixed income, um, you're going to have inside of here, you've got some uh, T-bills, ETFs uh, in the bond market, bo junk bonds, JNK, uh, high yield bond ETF. So you got a bunch of percentage or small, small pieces to this that all kind of add up just to kind of diversify, but there's not like one that's like super, super heavyweight. TIPX, uh, one of 10 year tips ETF, and then commodities is going to toss you into GLD, which is gold. And then you got 2% cash, which is just cash. Okay. So I'm going to click on confirm. And then we are going to have an agreement to sign, fill out some personal information here, e-sign right there. And just like that, our account application is submitted one to two business days, then you can fund your account and you are off to the races, my friends. And uh, you don't have to worry about anything. Just fund your account, put money in and then let them do the rest and allocate your money accordingly based off of 
your risk level. Okay, so I'll leave this page open. So when it comes down to questions, one of the questions you may have, or one of the first questions you may have is, can you see what we will buy before you sign up or deposit? Yes, and we just went over that. We showed you that in the drop down menus, you can see what exactly they're going to put you into. Now, can you change that? No, unless you change your risk level. You can't go in and say, oh, I wanna only get this and this and this and this. There, that's not, that's against the whole purpose. And we've actually had a video here on the channel that we filmed recently. That is Weeble's WeFolio. There should be a WeFolio tutorial, I believe. That is what you're probably looking for. Now, why is that potentially useful? It's because of fees. Because there could be some excess fees by going with the robo investing or the AI, if you want to call it that, or the smart advisor here on Weeble, there could be some excess fees that you may not have to pay for if you were to do this on your own. Now that's on top of what you will already be when you're investing in ETFs, what you're already going to have to pay in terms of the fees when you hold those ETFs. Those are commonly known as the expense ratios when you're looking at ETFs and getting be started or getting excited about looking into things and you know the cost of investing in here and all that stuff. So yes, can I do it myself? That's a question. Yes, you can, uh, and that would be the Weeble WeFolio. And so you could go about that about that route if you wanted to kind of customize the percentages and have full control and you know be able to change that very very easily on your own. How many portfolio options are there? Well, we just covered they had from conservative all the way to I believe high growth. And there's a bunch of uh, options in between. So there's about like, I don't know, six or so, maybe seven options um, that you have to choose from. And so each of those is going to be a slightly different portfolio. Uh, as you kind of work your way up the growth scale, some will be more risky investments or classified as more risky than others. Um, and, you know, that's kind of how that works. Can I change portfolios? Yes, you actually can change portfolios. What you'll want to do is go to the section that says revisit your portfolio in the action tab. And then you can change and slide to different risk tolerance levels, but you can only change to one level higher or lower than your current risk tolerance level that was assigned in the original questionnaire or when you originally opened the account. Okay. So what does that mean? Essentially, if I selected moderate growth, I can't go down to completely conservative in one, in one change. I'll have to move my way down to maybe like you know, whatever it was at below moderate growth, right? Somewhere in the middle, or I can go to, you know, high growth next or whatever comes after moderate growth, right? That's the option. But that's all I can do when I'm changing my risk tolerance level, okay? Now, that can be changed later on, but you can't just make some big jumps, you know, all of a sudden. Are there fees? Yes, until June 30th of 2023, which if you're watching this video, many may be watching it after the fact, um, there will be no fees. They're waiving the fees, but there's a standard annualized fee of 0.2% with a minimum monthly fee of $1. That is going to be charged to your account. I think they'll take it out of your account, I believe, um, when you're using the Weeble Smart Advisor. So there are fees not massive, but those could add up. And that's something that you want to pay attention to and take into account um, when you are maybe getting set up with the smart advisor on Weeble. Okay. What about withdrawing uh, and all that stuff? So you can withdraw funds. And what they're going to do, let's say you had a hundred and let's say you had a thousand dollars in there and you were like, Hey, I want to withdraw a hundred bucks. What they're going to do is they're going to first sell a hundred dollars of your portfolio to be able to give you the funds for the withdrawal. Then once the sell orders are all filled, processed, and all that is done, then they will process your withdrawal. So typically for an ACH transfer, I believe it takes three to five business days to credit your account according to Webull versus a wire transfer that takes like one to two business days. So there you guys have it. Leave any other questions, comments, concerns, or thoughts in the comment section down below. But right there, guys, that is how you can get set up with the Weeble Smart Advisor and start using that in your own investing. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.